Barry Leeds from WFP Fire and Security. I'm the Technical Director. I'm here today to uh, talk about the national changeover on the telephone systems throughout the country, uh, going from the PSTN over to IP. This video is really aimed at people uh, in businesses uh, and even domestic premises that have either fire or intruder systems that um, have remote monitoring to sta uh, remote monitoring stations or even anything basically that's using a telephone line to communicate to the external world. So the first important question is obviously what's the difference? So uh, the difference between PSTN and IP is a bit compared with when we had the TV systems that was using analog and uh, now digital. So the PSTN is like an old analog system and the IP is a new digital system. Uh, the PSTN uses old copper cable, IP uses fibre optics. So the next question is obviously why is it happening? Um, to keep it simple again, uh, at the moment the demand for internet services are, are growing rapidly and obviously the old system just can't cope with it. Uh, it's a bit like uh, a, a fireman with his, his hose putting a fire out and instead he's only got hose pipe so he's trying to put the fire out with a limited amount of supply. And this is exactly the same thing. So they're, they're by putting fiber optic cables in there, they can send much more data along this cable than they can the old copper wiring. So next question is, of course, when uh, when is this going to happen? So uh, ultimately, the UK national switch off will be on the thirty first of December, twenty twenty five. But important thing uh, date to remember will be this date here, September. Uh, 23 that's when they're going to have the national stop sell so what that means basically is that you will not be able to buy any products that use a PSTN line so when that could affect you if you've got an existing system that uses a PSTN line and your product fails after that day you are not going to be able to replace it with that product you're going to have to replace it with a different type of product So who's affected by this? Well, basically anyone and everyone. Um, if you've got a telephone system at the moment and it's using the PSTN line, obviously that's going to be no good after that switch off date. But more importantly, if you've got some form of monitoring system, i.e. if you've got a fire alarm system that's remotely monitored or an intruder system that's remotely monitored, these are systems that basically may call the police, may call the fire brigade, may just call your key holders or even just call you. But you could be affected if your system is using a PSTN line. So let's explain now what the alarm monitoring is in a bit more detail so you understand. So currently you'll have some, uh, some your system, whether it be intruder or fire, and depending on the system, depends on how it communicates with the central monitoring station. Um, it could have a device like this. This is called uh, a, a communicator. Uh, this particular product is what they call as the Dualcom. And uh, it has two methods of communication. One is through an aerial, a bit like your mobile signal, and the other one is through your PSTN line. So at the moment, this device will use the aerial method, your mobile method, to communicate as a primary path. Should that fail, it will then drop onto your PSTN line, and that's your secondary path. Now, of course, if the PSTN line is switched off in your area, that means that secondary path will no longer work. So what this means then, you'll only have your primary path, and should that fail because the local service provider goes down, um, then you'll have no communication at all. Now, of course, where that could affect you, if you've got a fire alarm system, you may not have the fire brigade called, or if you've got an intruder system, obviously you won't have the key holders or perhaps even the police respond to the system. So it's very important that you identify if you've got a PS10 connection. Now, if you've got monitoring with us, we can quite easily answer that for you because we can log into the system and we can see if your line is live and being used. If you haven't, obviously you can contact us and we can give some tips at how we may be able to identify that for you. What you need to do then, if you have got alarm monitoring and it is using a PSTN line, is look to upgrade your existing monitoring device. Now again, depends on the system you've got as to what you've got installed, but we can basically install this device here, which is the Dualcom Pro. Now this device here has two uh, SIM cards in the system, which basically means you've got, it's like having two mobile uh, 
connections on there. There's two aerials, and the aerial looks like this. So by your panel, you'll have two of these devices, and they will go two meters apart from your panel. Now, what happens is by having two SIM cards, they can both sit on different networks. Both SIM cards are also what are called worldwide SIMs. So that means if a network goes down, it will, it will jump onto the next strongest signal. So for instance, if you're on Vodafone, it can drop over to O2. Now, this totally does away with your telephone lines. And so there's no infrastructure required in regards to connections and other services, i.e. the telephone system which has always historically been a problem as well because um, what happens is we install a system and then you need a telephone engineer to come along and install a telephone line. Whereas with this product, it's just one engineer, one visit, and it's all done. So there is one, another alternative, and that's a grade shift UDL. That's very similar to this product, but it only has one SIM card and one aerial. The other connection connects to your internal Ethernet. The downside of that, of course, is if your Ethernet goes down, you've lost that communication path. So our recommendation is really go for the, the Dualcom Pro with your two aerials, two SIM cards, much more reliable. So you may not know, obviously, what system you've got with you, but if you've got uh, already a Dualcom product, or you may have uh, what they call a DigiDial, which is uh, using the, the actual control panel itself to directly communicate onto the PSTN line. Um, you may have obviously have a system called Red Care, and or you may believe you've got Red Care, but actually you might not have Red Care. Uh, and the reason I say that is because um, it's a bit like the good old days when everyone called their vacuum cleaner a Hoover because it, it was made by a company called Hoover, and everyone just got into the habit of calling it a Hoover. And it's the same with Red Care. Red Care uh, brought their product out many years ago, and everyone then from then on called monitoring Red Care but actually it's, it's monitoring and there's different products. Now also to be clear, if you need to change your monitoring device, it is purely the monitoring device you're changing. It's not the whole system, so you're not looking at changing all of your intruder or file on the system. Um, obviously it would be a good time to review because it may be an old system and you may want to obviously uh, do it in, in one uh, budget, um, but as I said, you don't need to change it. It's just really the, the, the monitoring device. Now, although you're going to have to replace this device, there is one big long-term benefit for this, is that you'll no longer have a, a telephone line that you need to pay for. So you know, have no line rental and obviously no line costs while you're using that line. So in the long term, this will actually save you money. Now, BT are making these changes, obviously, on the telephone systems, but they will not touch your alarm system. Basically, you just need to refer that to a company like ourselves where we can advise you on, on that system. So let's summarise what we've discussed. The most important thing, first of all, is don't delay. Um, although this seems a long way away, 2025, um, don't forget, in your area, it could be sooner. So the best bet is to go onto the BT website, which we provide the link in our blog, and just check your area, see when that deadline's gonna be. And then importantly, obviously, is to make a decision um, when you're gonna do that. Now, there's some key bullet points here that you, you know, a bit of an action plan for you. So, first of all, what you wanna be doing is you wanna be um, ascertaining if you have got your monitoring on your system. Uh, and if you're not too sure, give us a call, we can help you. Secondly, you need to establish if that monitoring is actually using PSTN. As I said, it may not be. You may already have a, a pro system where you don't need to do anything. And then thirdly, um, contact us. Uh, we can help you, uh, uh, provide you with, uh, with budgets. We can provide you with uh, uh, help on how you're going to do the changeover, when you're going to do this changeover, and the effect it may have on you and, and, and your business. So you can contact us on 01277 724 653. We'll be more than happy to help you with this. I'd like to thank you very much for taking time to watch this video. Hopefully I've helped to explain it. But as I said, just call us and we'll be more than happy to help you.